What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to PE with Coach Wood. Today, we're gonna to be playing some fun games while we're cup stacking, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is not traditional cup stacking where we do the cycle and all those rules and we go as fast as we can, do all that crazy stuff. All right, that will be for another video. Today, we're just gonna be playing some fun games that deal with these cups right here, all right? So, what you're gonna need is at least 10 cups, all right? If you have cup stacking cups, that would be perfect. If you don't, you can get some uh, plastic cups or some disposable cups. That should be able to work fine too. Do not get super nice china that is your mom's, that's in the high cabinet that she doesn't want you to touch. I don't want you breaking that. I've said that before, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't test her, all right? That's gonna be bad. Even if you use it and don't break it and try to impress her, still not gonna be good. You're gonna get fingerprints on it, gonna make it dirty. Eh, don't do it, all right? Only cups that are approved by your parents use. Anyways, first game what we're gonna do, you can do this game sitting down, all right? This game's called Steady Hands. So what you're gonna do, here we go. Nice and dry, not sweaty, a little nervous, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your hand out flat, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna see how high you can stack the cups as you are holding them. All right, I did it earlier and I did all right. Ah! I'm already struggling, I'm nervous, I'm on camera, all right? It is what it is, all right? I'm actually gonna start like this, see how this goes, all right? I got four was my record, but then you overthink it. But you want a nice steady hand. Taking nice soft breaths, holding it. Oh, there we go. You're killing it, coach, you're killing it, you're killing it. I know you're screaming at your camera for me to drop it, but look at this steady hand, look at that steady hand. Ah, oh, ah, ah. So that's the first game right there, steady hand. How many can you get? I think that was four, five, I can't count, I teach PE. So, that's our first game right there, steady hand. Next game, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. All right, next game, what you're gonna do, this is called Plank Pyramid. I'm gonna set them down like this. I'm gonna get into a nice plank, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a pyramid. So the bottom is going to be four, all right? And then we're gonna go three, there we go. Then we're gonna go two, and then we're gonna go one. Perfect. And if you wanna go crazy, you can break it down and put it back just like this. All right, so you can sit and uh, you can do it for time. So if I do it for time, I can set a timer, start it, go as fast as I can, see how, how fast I can build it. If you wanna go crazier, you can see how fast you build it and uh, put it back down uh, into this one stack just like this. If you wanna race other people, you can race other people, see who gets the fastest time, all right? Or what you can do is you can see how many pyramids you can make planking as long as you can, one plank, all right? So if I just plank and I keep making pyramid, 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 all right? See how many pyramids you can make without breaking your plank or going down onto a knee or something like that. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is called Plank Pyramid. Next, a game that we've played before, it's called Jumpin' Jenga, all right? You may need some more cups, all right? But if you don't, if you only have 10, that's totally fine. But we've played this before, I believe on Locomotors Part Locomotive skills part, not one, not two, but three, all right? So what you do is you put one cup down, you jump over it. Every time you jump over it, you get to add another cup, all right? Just like this, all right? Oh, stay on there, stay, stay. And then you jump, all right? You keep going, you keep going up, you see how high you can get. Now your feet must clear it, so that doesn't mean I can run and jump like this. That doesn't count. My feet have to jump over it, all right? So, that's called jumping Jenga. If it falls down, start back over from one, all right? Next game we got, I'm gonna get my mat right here because I don't wanna bust up my tailbone doing this, all right? I got my nice mat right here. Timber, all right? Now this one, all right? I need to make sure I'm on the camera. I'm gonna back up a little bit. All right, this one, is gonna be cup stacking sit-ups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ah, cups, no, ah, ah, got it. All right, I'm gonna put the cups behind me like this, flat, and I'm gonna get one at a time on the sit-up, 
and you can do this for time as well, and see, make yourself a pyramid, or you can make yourself a tower, make yourself whatever you want. I'm gonna do a pyramid. I gotta switch my hands up right here. Every sit up, you should alternate hands. So I go left, right. And as you're doing this, you're definitely gonna feel it in your core and those abs, getting that six pack for next summer, you know, all right? And when you finish, you can see how fast you did it in, all right? So if I had a timer, I could hit stop, all right? I can make it harder by making it a straight tower up and down like we do in Jumping Jenga. Um, I can make it harder by, I build the pyramid and then I go, how can I take it down like this? All right, you can do that. Where's the time? All right, or you can even be crazy and it's when you go back, you try to build a pyramid without looking. That's even crazier. I'm gonna grab two cups at a time to help me. And then see if you can make, oh, there we go, no, yep, 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 I think. What, he's picking all the cups? I can't do it, I can't do it, but I don't wanna take up too much time, all right? So that's that in our last game. Now this game is probably gonna be the toughest game of all, all right? It's cup stack bowling, all right? Now it's gonna be a little different because we're not gonna just stack up the cups and then try to knock them down. That's too easy, all right? We're not gonna do that, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the cups right here, all right? They're gonna be unstacked. They're just gonna be in one pillar, just like that, all right? Here's my nice padding. In case I run into the wall, don't want that happening. Which it won't, it won't, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way out over here out of the camera, all right? So don't be scared, I'll be back, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the ball. Now when I roll the ball, I wanna roll it nice and slow. I don't wanna roll it too fast to start off because it's gonna be way too hard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the ball. After you roll the ball, you're gonna run over here in front of the ball and you're gonna try to set up the cups into a pyramid, all right? So four, three, two, one, all right? That's the levels. All right, so I'm gonna try to stack a pyramid up and I wanna set it up and finish it and then have the ball knock it down, all right? So it's gonna to be tough, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have yet to do it, all right? That's how hard it is, all right? So if you wanna start off, it might be easier to start off with just three cups, all right? Start off with three cups and obviously the level would be two and then one on top. All right, and that might be easy to start off with. And so I'm actually gonna try that first. So I'm gonna start off with three. I'm gonna set these over here. All right, I'm gonna take the ball. Don't worry, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back, all right? And remember when you roll the ball, let me show you this. When you roll the ball, you're standing, you step with your opposite foot, all right? So if I roll with my right hand, I'm gonna step with my left, I'm gonna bend my knees, and I'm gonna roll and follow through like that, all right? That wasn't a great roll because I didn't want to roll it over there. Get all crazy. All right, I'm over here, don't worry. Don't be crying, I'll be back, all right? I'm gonna get a nice roll. I'm gonna get a nice roll. Ah, it's going by the camera. This school might be on an angle. This floor might not be flat. Coach, don't give me excuses, I won't, don't worry. No more excuses. All right, I rolled it. All right, and I'm gonna set it up. This is a bad roll, this is a bad roll, this is a bad roll. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try one more time with three cups, all right? So start off with three, that's what we've decided. Start off with three, because if you start off with all 10, that's gonna be difficult, all right? And it's gonna take you a couple rolls to see what the speed is and kind of get used to it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, all right? Now, I can go up from there and build a tower or a pyramid of six or higher, eventually getting to 10, all right? But like I said, that's gonna be difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out, watching Cup Stacking Games. I'll see you later, peace.